I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your weekly lightning session brought to you by the Bitcoin 2022 conference in Miami Beach, Florida, April 6th through 9th. You can pick up your tickets now at b.tc slash conference and use code BTC Sessions for 10% off. This week's question comes to us from Always Belief on Twitter, and he wants to know how to better calculate Bitcoin transaction size and fees. Bitcoin transaction fees are calculated based on data, not the amount of value being transacted. The two things that will impact the amount of data in your transaction are the number of inputs and outputs for your transaction and the type of Bitcoin address that your funds are currently sitting in. Every time you receive a Bitcoin transaction, those bits of data stay separate in your wallet and are known as UTXOs. In this example, somebody has received one Bitcoin as one UTXO into their wallet and later spent out to another individual and gotten some change back. In example number two, somebody has received two separate transactions totaling one Bitcoin, so they have two UTXOs sitting in their wallet, they spend out to somebody and receive some change. This transaction would be more expensive than the first because the wallet was preloaded with two UTXOs, which uses more data on the Bitcoin blockchain. Bitcoin wallets currently use three different address types and depending on which ones you utilize, you can save on fees. Legacy addresses which start with a 1 will be the most expensive, wrapped segwit which starts with a 3 will be a middle ground, and native segwit starting with BC1 will save you the most on fees when you go to spend out. A few things to think about when saving on fees, use native segwit addresses, use replace by fee which I've covered previously, timing is everything so when it's not busy you get lower fees, and you can batch transactions or send to multiple parties at once and reduce on-chain fees as well. You can find an easy fee estimator at btc.network estimate and toggle all of your options to see what fees may apply to you. For low fees, you may also want to look into Lightning and Liquid Networks. If you've got a question for next week's Lightning session, just leave a comment down below.